Azari Dokubo has asserted that he is more Igbo than Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. This claim is a bold statement within the larger context of Nigeria's ethnic tensions, particularly among the Igbo people, the Ejo, and the broader Nigerian political landscape. Azari Dokubo uses this assertion to challenge Namdekano's legitimacy as a leader and spokesperson for the Igbo people. He criticized Namdekano for vacillating between declaring himself Igbo or not, suggesting that Namdekano lacks a consistent stance. He implies that Namdekano's leadership of the Biafra movement is based on opportunism rather than genuine representation of Igbo people's interests. Azari Dokubo's speech heavily discusses ethnic and political identity, specifically the fluidity of identity in Nigerian politics. He describes how he has missed DNA, that is Ejo, Igbo and Benin, positioning himself as someone who transcends ethnic divisions. He portrays himself as a leader who can navigate multiple cultural and political landscapes. Azari Dokubo attributes leadership appointments and outcomes to divine intervention, suggesting that God works in mysterious ways to appoint leaders. He mentions the selection of governors in river states, portraying certain political appointments as a result of God's will, despite human interference. Throughout the video, Azari Dokubo references historical events, particularly the Nigerian Civil War and the complexities of ethnic relations in Nigeria. His view is that leaders like Namdekano and others have misunderstood or manipulated these histories for personal gain. Azari Dokubo, understanding of his own heritage and the ethnic complexities of Nigeria, provides a rich context for his arguments. His recognition of the fluidity and overlap of ethnic identity in Nigeria challenges simplistic views of identity that are often portrayed in political rhetoric. Azari Dokubo speaks from personal experience, citing his own heritage and political involvement in Nigeria. This gives weight to his perspective, especially when he talks about his interaction with high-level politicians and his understanding of the political process in River State. His references to historical events like the Nigerian Civil War and political appointments show a deep awareness of Nigeria's past and how it influenced contemporary politics. Azari Dokubo made strong claims especially about Namdekano's motivation and character, but he doesn't provide concrete evidence to back up this assertion. Much of his argument is based on personal opinion rather than verifiable facts. The video contains a great deal of emotional rhetoric, particularly when discussing Namdekano's perceived betrayal of the Igbo people. This can weaken his argument by making it appear more like a personal vendetta rather than an objective analysis of leadership and identity. While Azari Dokubo used of divine intervention to explain political events resonates with a religious audience, it may not appeal to all viewers. His argument that God works in mysterious ways may be seen as a way to sidestep accountabilities or to justify political outcomes that are the results of human decision making. Azari Dokubo paints broad strokes when discussing the Igbo, Ijo, and other ethnic groups in Nigeria. His assertion that people run away from the Igbo because of their attitude 
can reinforce negative stereotype and this broad generalization may not reflect the full complexity of inter-ethnic relations in the country. He claims that Namde Kano manipulates his identity, highlights how ethnic identity can be used as a tool for political gain in Nigeria. This is a common theme in Nigerian politics where leaders often appeal to ethnic sentiments to garner support. Azari Dokubo is warning that such manipulation can be dangerous leading to division rather than unity. Azari Dokubo's speech emphasizes how ethnicity plays a central role in who gets to lead in Nigeria. He argues that his own misheritage gives him a unique ability to lead across ethnic lines. But this also raises questions about how leaders are choosing and whether ethnic background should be a deciding factor in political appointments. Azadi Dokubo's criticism of Namde Kano could have broader implication for the Biafra movement. By challenging Namde Kano's legitimacy, he may be encouraging division within the pro-Biafra ranks, which could weaken the movement's overall goal of independence. The video's discussion of inter-ethnic relations reflects deeper tensions in Nigerian society. Azari Dokubo's speech touches on long-standing grievances, particularly between the Igbo and other ethnic groups like the Ijo, which could exacerbate existing divisions. From a critical thinking standpoint, we must question the basis of Azari Dokubo's claims. His argument that he is more Igbo than Namdi Kano relies heavily on anecdotal evidence, his personal experiences, and his missed heritage. While this provides a unique perspective, it lacks the objectivity needed to substantiate such a claim. Azari Dokubo's critics of Namdi Kano hinges on the latter's inconsistent self-identification as Igbo. This brings up important questions about leadership and identity in secessionist movements. Is it necessary for a leader to be fully immersed in the culture they represent? Or can leadership transcend strict ethnic boundaries? These are questions that are not fully answered in the video. His argument is also heavily dependent on religious rhetoric, which may resonate with some but could alienate others who prefer a more secular approach to politics. The lack of evidence to back up his claims about divine intervention makes this part of his argument less persuasive. Azari Dokubo is saying he knows more about being Igbo man than another man named Namdi Kano who leads the Igbo people. He says Namdi Kano changes his mind too much and that he, Azari Dokubo, is proud of where he comes from. Azari Dokubo also believes that God chooses who will be leaders but sometimes people try to mess things up. He says people need to know more about their past so they can make better choices. Azari Dokubo doesn't think Namdi Kano is a good leader and believes people should stop fighting and be nicer to each other. He concludes by saying that he is proud of where he comes from and doesn't like when others pretend to be something they are not. He thinks people should work together and respect their history. I will play the video for you guys to watch and see for yourself. What was the motive of making C governor of rivers? It has come out from the mouth of the person who said he was the person who made sin governor of rivers. He has told us that they told him that sin was not really job. Sin was not really job. <laughs> Sin 
was not real. So you look at sin, you picked him, you had all the complaint. You said you wanted an Ijon man. So who sort of a John man will a man who sent thunder to Ijon people recruit in his service to become governor of Ethiopia, governor of River State, governor in the name of Ethiopia. He will look for the worst Ijon man. And a young man who will propagate his belief about the job. And all of them are there. Some of them wanted to be governed. He didn't give them. Because he felt that <clears throat> this man is an Okrika man. Uh, these are quicker people, you know, a banichuka. This man is a Kalawari man, you know, Kilamakri, you know, Dagubasari, you know. So this to you, are you sure if I give them they will not use it against me? So you so you know God works in a mysterious way. God, He works in a mysterious way. So he so seen as the most suitable tool to become governor and spite the job people. Somebody thinks we chastise the job people with a scorpion and snake. That's the way he saw it. So he was not doing the job people a favor. And you remember, some people started saying when he brought uh, he chose saying that same mother is his cousin, she's his queen, she's I came out. I said, she be same father not from a woman. They said yes. If same father is from a people, there is an German. There is no argument about it. After all, we that is sitting here as an German in my veins, a three nationalities way, three nationalities. DNA, blood is flowing in my vein. But I have a job. I have a job a DNA flowing in my vein. I have evil DNA flowing in my vein. I have belief DNA flowing in my vein. Three DNA that have been identified. Flowing inside my vein. From my family genealogy. From my family tree. So, have I denied being an angel man? No. No. I'm a job. I have passion for a job. I have everything for a job. So, I cannot be picked as governor of River State, even if they are considered. But my good head, my younger sister, will not be picked. So now, somebody with his motive, his evil, sinister motive against the job people. And God works in a mysterious way. God was looking for a Messiah for rivers people, not just the job people. And we were looking elsewhere for that Messiah. We were looking elsewhere for that Messiah. And it was with the hands of this fellow 
who are sent thunder to injure people that God used to bring a Messiah for the United States and a Messiah for the job people. The one you consider, ah, King Dago for Popo is an evil man. That was assimilated and has naturalized as an a proud John man. And ended the Anna Pepper War King, fought a civil war in Bonny, and founded Popo. But do you know what? God used this man to go to Popo and pick a man from that Payamakri house. In from God will come from him which shall return. He went to Pope. You see, what sin came and started studying his history and genealogy once he chose him. Because I am historical correction officer. I look at this thing. He went to Popo. And who did he get? He gets somebody, he caught somebody from that Paye and Macri house. Original, it's your blood. Fora is a descendant of that Paye and Macri. Of grand of Maybe you've not had one well, has a government. Well, fine. And did you know? Like, can anything come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? After all, the Pope of people, they are not speaking in Bani, they are not speaking in Jordan. Most of them are speaking uh, a mixture of Igbo and Igbo. So they are going to speak Igbo together. It's an Igbo man. It's a nine. It's an Ikore man. I have a Ikore brother. I'm from Ele brother. I know that I am Igbo. Ele brother is Igbo. Forget about it. What Calabar people call Ikore is Anya. Anya Nabini. Anya Igbos. We have two Igbos. You saw my Igbos and Anya Igbos. What are the Igbo? What are they saying? Even at the same man will say it's not evil. When the whole of a way, the whole of a way, the whole of the people that 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 they descended from a uh, uh, a che is one of uh, one, one, one of the centers of dispersal of evil, like Iri. A che, a che. It's one of the centers of dispersal of egos. That is why you have to know your history. Amadioha, the highest of Igbo deity, bigger than the deity in uh, Arochuku. Because our Chuku people are not even pure Igbos. They are a mixture of Ibibos and Igbos. They came from the north with our Asia people, with other Aban people. They came with us from Sudan, all these places. Came and met Igbo people there in that Pendel area. That place, our Chuku, where our Chuku is, was an Ibibo land, an Ibibo town. So if you live land, they are talking of dispersal of evil people, centers of dispersal of evil people. It is a shame and in me that are the major dispersal point of evil people. I will kill with spion knowledge from where they said whether it is Sudan or wherever they had that they migrated, passing through Ogoja area and so on. Mixing with uh, the Bokis, with 
meeting with the OJ guy, meeting with everybody, meeting with every meeting. Arrow Chiki is a mixture of different nationalities all put together. Arrow Chiki is a melting point of the job people, melting point of ethnic people, the beautiful people, human people. So Arrow is not when we are talking of Igbo, a dispersal point of Igbo people. The two pillars of Igbo dispersal are a chain and Henry. And that the current man is saying that he's not Igbo. And the chain man is saying that he's not Igbo. An upper man is saying that he's not Igbo. An entire man is saying that he's not Igbo. Okay, that's evil people's problem because you like to abuse people, you like to talk about that's people, that's why people are running away from you. Everybody wants to be job. Why? Everybody does not want to go with a poor neighbor and normal. Everybody says they are not evil. You have to check evil, you have to check your attitude. You have to check, really, really check your attitude. I am evil. I am an upper man, I'm proud. I am an illiterate man, I am proud. I am a Muemi man, I am proud. I know all my roots in Igbo land. I'm not begging you to become Igbo. I am Igbo. I am more Igbo than in Amdekan. Amdekan is an Arab man. So, an Arab man will look down on an Arab man. If the abans are not there, will the arrow empire in, uh, increase? We have mutual respect for each other. I'm not just an urban man. They fight to conquer the arrows and the uh, 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 and the abans by the British. Ended in my home village of Boom. 1903. Ended in my home village of Boom. I know my roots. I know where my father has come from. So let's leave that matter. So this man went. God was looking for a Messiah. God has provided a Messiah for us. We are looking for a Messiah. And said, It's by the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> God use the hands of my book it music and brought him inside. For rivers people and for job people. And you know what? Nobody can tolerate my booking easy. When you go and you sit with him, you are drinking that is drink of uh, how many thousands of dollars is abusing me. Some of them that are there. Them that a caravan man will never be governor. Some of them they are standing with a fine boy, no people. Good, better it, but better baller hat with working stick, fine boy, no people. They went to him that they wanted an Ijon man, their god, their former godfather, to become governor of River State. By this man who was a general when my father 
was director of uh, public prosecution. Nine man were scattered by rivers people. He has totally been destroyed. He has destroyed himself, taking himself to the oh my god. Oh my god. Respect the man. Fine gentleman. I used to look at him. He was a young man. My father was much, much older than him. He related with people. He was not a boss. As a young man, appointed as attorney general and working with older lawyers. My uncle was Parliament Solicitor General and Parliament Secretary, I see in Kotara. And my father was a uh, director of public prosecution. He worked with them. He took them as his uncles and senior brothers. Very polite, always, you know, visiting. And I have so much love and respect for him. But I don't know what is happening. They say it's law of diminishing returns. Maybe when you are growing older, things you things start to develop inside you that you have no control over. What is he looking for? He went with this fellow, with the person who wanted to be governor, with the person who is claiming uh, today working. He went, and the man. He was tipsy. Oh, I say, intoxicated in that his drink. And he roared. You come because I give you the privilege of coming here. My hero. My own mother, my own mother, well, yeah. I will reduce you to poverty. I will reduce you to poverty. Chai, 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 chai. You know what you're talking about, baby? You're talking about the angle, 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 angle. Hmm. Angle, you saw who I'm talking about, angle, angle. My relation, even if. You see me, you disrespect me. I'm sorry. It's not about me. Once you depart from the standard that I have set for myself, I say bye bye, bye bye. I'm, I'm going. You can't guard me. It's difficult to guard me. I'm not enemy of anybody. It is the truth I speak that is enemy of me. It is the action I take in foreground of the truth that is it makes me an enemy to people because I won't come to you. I won't visit your house. I won't even call you on the phone except I think we have shared interests, we have the same belief, even if we are quarreling, we are cold. In your hours of need and your hours of danger, you will see me standing far stronger than any other person you expect. Even the boogie dizzy, if today is in trouble, and I feel that trouble is targeted at us, all of us. And if it falls, I, we are all going to be, be affected. You will see me in front without going to a lot of people ask me, you supported Ahmed Bolatini. Because of good luck, I parted ways with Ahmed Bolatini. But yes, I never communicated with him. But when he came out from presidency, I remembered what he did for me. I did not solicit for what Ahmed Bolatini did for me. I stood firm. I am saying it without any equivocation, without missing what I spent over two million US dollars. Cash. 
I'm not counting Naira. I don't have record of the Naira I spent. At that time, Naira was uh, fluctuating 500, 600, 700. To calculate the man. Dollars that I have accumulated to be established my university in my village. I gave it up. And when even I was told by your lawyer in Mecca, I said, Go and meet Baba. Tell him because people will claim responsibility for what you are doing. I told that she's alive. I said, My sister. When your father helped me, when your father helped me, he did not consult me. He went out all up. Papa Sinja was president. A Yoruba man like him. This man gave my former wife, my first wife, a house, put my children in the most expensive school in Lagos was sending money to me in prison. I came out from prison. He gave me money to go travel abroad for my medical. He bought my first car for me to Iraq, which was stolen. Immediately, I came out of prison. And I am not duty bound to pay him. I will continue to hold him. Because I was dead. The experience I had, you don't have it. I was buried alive. Underground. A passenger wanted me dead. This man stood by me. He did not ask for anything from me. He has never asked for anything from me. So people say, what have you gave? What has he given me? I didn't give him anything he gave. I gave. If Bolatinibu did not help me, if Bolatinibu did not come to assist me, I know that when Bola Tinibu was top notch. Donald Duke was there. Good luck, Jonathan was there. These were the three major governors at that time that assisted me and assisted my family. But Bola Tinibu was hired. He has no relationship with me other than that we met in the trenches. Good luck, Jonathan was an enjoyable man like me. Donald Duke was married to an Ijo woman from my place. I attended the same primary school. We lived in the same neighborhood. It's from the same region with me. But I'm a brother to me. Was it? So I will continue to be grateful. He didn't ask for anything. So if he is here, he did not. I will continue to be grateful. And I will continue to say my mind. I will continue to pray for him to succeed. Because if he fails, I fail. I told everyone, hold me responsible to be there Because I know him. But this is not about my brother Tinibu. Because people are coming to say, but you say we should all be responsible. Yes, I said it. I'm not denying it. And I we stand by him through the thick and thin. He did that for me. Maybe a person dog would have succeeded in killing me. I my brother Tinibu provided money for my lawyer, provided money for people, provided money for media, did a lot for me. I can never forget or erase it. So let us come to the book of music. Let us 
come to Nebuchadnezzar. So Nebuchadnezzar with an ulterior motive, not knowing who Fubara is, not knowing the pedigree of Fubara, now chose Fubara. Thinking that it will be a third term for him. Thinking that it will be a third term of I can't even call it colonization because how many Korean people benefited? See, I'm not flattering anybody. Uh, okay, uh, the Emeka, okay, this, that, that. Count them. How many? How many of them are even as rich as me that did not benefit from this? How many of them have the assets that I have? River State that had billions and tons and tons and tons and tons of billions. It just gave them survivor, survivor package, survivor kit. What it gave them was survivor kit, survivor package. That's why once they are out of government, for we, they have never been in government, once they are out of government for one second, they are hungry. 